welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes. Today we are going to look at alkenes and alkenes. The general formula for an alkene is CN two CN H two N plus two. Alkenes are saturated compounds. They have carbon to carbon single bonds present in them. Now, the first member of this homologous series has one carbon atom. And if we use the general formula, well, we would not write the one, so we put C, H, and it'll be two multiplied by one plus two, which is four. So that's how we got CH4 and the displayed formula is written as this a carbon with four hydrogen atoms around it. The next member is ethane. Ethane has two carbon atoms, so the formula will be C2H. If you use the formula, it'll be 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 2, which is 6. So that is how we got C2H6. Therefore, we have two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Propane has three carbon atoms, so the formula will be C3H. We use the formula, it will be 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6 plus 2, which gives us 8. So that's how we got this. And we have the displayed formula will be, it will look like this. We have three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. And the next member is butene, which has four carbon atoms. This is written as C4H. If you use the formula, it'll be two multiplied by four, which is six, four twos are eight, plus two, which gives us 10. So that's how we got C4H10. And therefore, the displayed formula will look like this. It has four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. So what you need to know is the general formula, which is this. You need to know that alkenes are saturated compounds. And we need to be able to draw the displayed formula of the members of this homologous series. We also need to know the reactions of alkenes. The first reaction is combustion. Alkenes burn in oxygen with a clean blue flame to produce carbon dioxide and water. So for this example, we have methane. Methane plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and water. The second reaction we're going to look at is halogenation. Alkenes react with chlorine gas in the presence of UV light. This is the key thing to remember here. This reaction takes place in UV light to produce chlorinated alkenes. The reaction is called a substitution reaction. Right? Remember I said alkenes undergo substitution reactions. The hydrogen atoms in the alkene molecule are replaced with chlorine atoms. And several different products could be produced because it is possible to replace all the hydrogen atoms in the alkene. So if we look at one possible reaction, we can have CH4 plus Cl2 and we can get CH3 Cl plus HCl. So what we've done is replace this hydrogen atom with one chlorine atom. Further substitution could take place in which case we can get
So these are several possible reactions that can take place. I will just draw the structure so you'll see what is happening. So if we replace all the carbon atoms in methane, we get this last compound here, which is tetrachloromethane, right? Or CCl4. So the key thing to note here is that when you react an alkene with chlorine in the presence of UV light, you can get various products and the reaction type is a substitution reaction. You need to be able to give some examples of alkenes. Alkenes are used as fuels. When an alkene is burnt in oxygen, thermal energy is produced. Right? The reaction is exothermic. Butene and propane are used for cooking. Alkenes are also used as petrol for cars. Some alkenes are used in the manufacture of other compounds. Methane, for example, is used to manufacture ammonia. Now let's look at a next homologous series called alkenes. Now the general formula for an alkene is CnH2n. And alkenes are unsaturated compounds. They have carbon to carbon double bonds. And alkenes undergo addition reactions. So when we compare an alkene to an alkene, we notice that it's unsaturated, it has carbon to carbon double bonds, and it undergoes addition reactions, which is different to an alkene. So the first member of this series has two carbon atoms because we need to have a double bond. So the formula will be C2H. If we use the general formula, it'll be two multiplied by two, which is four. So the formula is C2H4. And we draw two carbon atoms with a double bond. And we end up with this displayed formula Keep in mind that carbon can only form four bonds around itself. So if you look at this carbon atom here, we have one, two, three, four carbon, four bonds, sorry. The next member of the, this group is has three carbon atoms. So it'll be C3H, if you use the formula, it'll be three multiplied by two, which is six. So that's how we got this. And this is the displayed formula. The next one is but1ene, which is, it has four carbon atoms, so it'll be C4H, if we use the formula, it'll be four by two, which is eight. So, so we got this, and this is a displayed formula. Now if you notice, we have a double bond. This is a double bond here. We have a double bond here. We have a double bond here, right? So if we are given um, a displayed formula, we can identify if it is an alkene or not. Now we look at the reactions of alkenes. In the case of combustion, when an alkene is burnt in oxygen, it burns with a smoky yellow flame to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now the flame is smoky because of the higher proportion of carbon in the molecule. An example, if we have ethene and we burn it in oxygen, we get carbon dioxide and water, which is similar to the reaction of an alkene. 
next type of reaction we need to look at is hydrogenation. Alkenes react with hydrogen gas in the presence of a nickel catalyst at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. You need to be able to recall the reaction conditions. So it's a nickel catalyst and a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. So this example, we have ethene again. So ethene plus hydrogen gives you ethene, right? If we draw, use the displayed formula, we have C2H4 plus H2, you have your catalyst and high temperature of 200 degrees C, and we get ethene. So this is one way to convert an alkene into an alkene. So you have an alkene here, and you have an alkene. The next type of reaction is called halogenation. Alkenes undergo addition reactions with halogens. Now when we speak about halogens, we are referring to chlorine, bromine, iodine. Essentially group seven elements. That is what a halogen is. So in this example, we have ethene again, and it's reacting with bromine to give us one, two dibromoethene. This is a test used to identify an alkene. A bromine solution is decolorized. When we say decolorize, the color changes from reddish brown to colorless. And this type of reaction, as we stated here, is an addition reaction. The next type of reaction we're going to look at is something called hydration. Alkenes react with steam using a phosphoric 5 acid catalyst, which is H3PO4, and a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 60 atmospheres to produce an alcohol. So again, if we start off with ethene plus steam, it will give us ethanol. So you have the ethene molecule here reacting with H2O gas, which is steam. You will need to have the phosphoric 5 acid catalyst, a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, and a pressure of 60 atmospheres. And the product is ethanol. And this, is a, this reaction is called hydration. We also need to be familiar with the reaction with acidified potassium manganate 7. You need to know that potassium manganate 7 is an oxidizing agent. And this the color of this is purple. When acidified potassium manganate 7 is added to an alkene, the purple solution rapidly decolorizes. And when we say decolorizes, it goes from purple to colorless. And this is another test for an alkene. An alkene does not produce this reaction. You need to be familiar with this equation. So you have ethene plus H2O plus O. This O in the square brackets represents the acidified potassium manganate 7 which is the oxidizing agent. And the product we get is a diol, which is ethene one two diol, meaning that we have two OH groups being added. Now, if we were to compare alkenes and alkenes, if we look at the type of reactions they undergo, an alkene undergoes substitution reactions 
whereas an alkene undergoes addition reactions. Reaction with bromine in water. Now in the case of an alkene, remember we said they have single bonds and they are termed, so the alkene is a saturated compound and the alkene is unsaturated. So the reaction with bromine and water, there's no reaction with an alkene. However, we get a, a reaction with an alkene. You get rapid decolorization of bromine. The solution changes from reddish brown to colorless. You need to be familiar with this. Because a question may ask, what is observed? And when we ask for an observation, we need to specify a color change or what, what do we see. So it changes from reddish to brown with an alkene and there's no reaction with an alkene. If we react with acidified potassium manganese 7, there is no reaction with an alkene. But in the case of an alkene, you get rapid decolorization of the acidified potassium manganese 7. It goes from purple to colorless. So if we are asked what is the observation, the observation will be the solution changes from purple to colorless. Isomerism. Isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. What this means is that Several compounds can have the same molecular formula, but when you draw the display formula, there are different forms. So for example, if you look at this compound C4H10, it is butane. We can draw it this way, or we can draw it this way. If we look at this, we see that this compound has formula C4H10. This one has formula also C4H10. But if you look at these structures, it is drawn differently. This is a straight chained hydrocarbon, and this one is a branch hydrocarbon. So this one is called butane, whereas this one is called 2-methylpropane. We have another example here. We have the molecular formula C4H8, and we see that there are three isomers. So this one is called but1-ene, this is but2-ene, and this last one is called 2-methylpropene. So they all have the same molecular formula, but the structures are drawn differently. And that brings us to the end of the homologous series, Alkenes and Alkenes.